the Galaxy Note 8. It has a slew of new features, but a lot of them are similar to what we're expecting with the new iPhone. We were able to get our hands on the Note 8, and while these phones are very different, there is a lot that they share. So first is the build. The Note 8 has a glass front and back with a metal band around the edges. This allows for features like wireless charging, but still gives a premium feel while using it. This is the same as what we're hearing for the new iPhone, glass on the front and back and a stainless steel frame around the edges. And this would allow for features like wireless charging. There's also no home button on the Note 8. Samsung moved away from the physical home button for an on-screen one, and again, this is what we expect with the iPhone. Also, like with the current iPhone, the home button on the Note 8 vibrates when pressed to try and simulate a real button, and the home button can detect pressure, like with 3D Touch. The screen on the Note 8 is huge. It spans 6.3 inches, is AMOLED, and has an 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio, so it's pretty tall. However, there are still bezels at the top and bottom. Comparing to the iPhone 8, we're expecting there to be a larger screen to body ratio, so no chin, but a notch at the top for different sensors and cameras. But even though the iPhone should have a larger screen, it won't come close to the 6.3 inches of the Note. But we're expecting AMOLED, so it should have great contrast and punchy colors like what you get with the Note. Now, on the back, the similarities continue. The Note 8 now features a dual 12 megapixel camera system. One camera is a wide angle, and the other is a telephoto lens with two times zoom, just as we have on the iPhone 7 Plus. But with the Note 8, both cameras feature optical image stabilization, so whether you're zoomed in or not, you'll be able to get smoother motion for video and sharper images in more situations like low light. The Note 8 also has a similar feature to the portrait mode on the 7 Plus. However, on the Note, the blur is adjustable and it will save the wide angle and telephoto image together. So you have more options to choose from after the fact, it's not just one photo. We haven't heard too much about what the new camera and the iPhone 8 will feature, but we do expect updates like OIS in both cameras and more smart features, maybe even some of the features Samsung has implemented. One thing the Note has that we don't expect an iPhone to get is the S Pen. This is a stylus that tucks away inside of the phone. The closest comparison in the Apple world is of course the Apple Pencil, but the S Pen is a defining feature of the Note line. Now with the Note 8, the S Pen has better pressure sensitivity and a new feature called Live Message. This will animate whatever you write and send it off. This is very similar to a feature in iOS called Digital Touch. However, on the Note, the animation is saved so you can share it in more places. Now, as for security, the Note 8 is packing a fingerprint sensor on the back near the camera, but on the front, it has face scanning and iris scanning. You can use either of these to open up your phone. This is a similar story to what we're expecting for the iPhone 8. The little notch at the top of the screen is supposed to hold different sensors and cameras to do 3D face detection and scanning. This would presumably allow for very secure entry without the use of Touch ID, which we still don't know if will be included in the next iPhone. On the inside, the Note 8 is packing a 10 nanometer 2.3 gigahertz Snapdragon processor with 6 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of expandable storage, a 3300 milliamp hour battery. It's also IP68 water and dust resistant, and it still has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. With the iPhone 8, we're expecting Apple's A11 processor and 3 gigabytes of RAM. Comparing these two, on paper, it seems the Note 8 is definitely better, but we have seen in the past that Apple's seemingly worse hardware actually outperforms the competition, so we'll have to wait and see on that. On the software side of things, of course, there is a huge difference. The Note 8 runs a skinned version of Android with features like Bigsby, customization options, new multitasking features to open multiple apps at once, and much more, while the iPhone runs iOS with features like Siri, iMessage, FaceTime, and more. Software is where there are countless little differences, and really, this part comes down to preference. It's just which system you prefer. Now, the Note 8 comes in four colors, Midnight Black, Orchid Gray, Deep Sea Blue, and Maple Gold. With the iPhone 8, we're expecting a black model, silver model, and a new copper model. And both of these phones are expected to come in at higher price points. The Note 8 starts in the $900 range, and we are expecting the iPhone 8 to come in at a higher price as well. So not cheap phones by any means. 
But that is the Note 8 versus the upcoming iPhone 8. They share a lot of the same basic features, but the implementation and the way that they are to use has yet to be seen for either device really. The Note 8 will be available September 15th, and we're expecting the announcement of the iPhone 8 in September as well.